Hi guys, welcome to Pencil College. In today's video, we'll be moving on to learn a new theorem called the Factor Theorem. And we are at chapter 4.4. So here are the lesson objectives. We want to learn to state and apply the Factor Theorem. So what does the Factor Theorem say? Factor Theorem says that if x minus a is a factor of the polynomial fx, then, okay, or rather, if and only if, f of a is equal to 0. So what does this mean? Let me give you a numerical example to help you understand better. So for example, if x minus 2 is a factor of fx, okay, then we can also say that the f of 2 is equal to 0. Once again, let us recall how we arrive at 2. So all we need to do is to equate this to 0 and then solve for x, which is just 2. Okay, and therefore, f of 2 is 0. Now, one more example. Let me just reverse the argument now. So, suppose now I were to say that f of 5 is 0. Then, using this piece of information, I can also say that x minus 5 is a factor, is a factor of fx. Okay, so the argument works both ways. And that sort of explains why we have a double-headed arrow over here. Okay, let's move on to look at some tangible examples. So if in example number one, question says, determine whether x plus 1 is a factor of the following polynomials. So recall that fact theorem say that x minus a is a factor of the polynomial fx if and only if f of a is equal to 0. So we will be drawing upon this theorem to help us solve example or to help us understand example number one. So let us first look at look at the given divisor. So once again, this or rather the given factor. So if x plus one is the factor, okay, and if I want to find my a, all I need to do is to equate this to zero and then solve for x, which is negative one. So meaning to say, okay, applying our understanding from the factor theorem, if, if f of negative 1 is 0, okay, then, okay, maybe I, I shouldn't say if, I should say f of minus 1 is equal to 0, if and only if x plus 1 is a factor of fx. So for part A, all I'm going to do is to test out the value f of negative 1. And if it's 0, then I can say that x plus 1 is a factor. If it's not 0, if it's non-zero, then x plus 1 is not a factor. Okay, so let's try it out. So f of negative 1, okay, all we need to do is to substitute x equals to negative 1 into the given expression. Okay, so I, I let me let this be fx. And uh, if I was to simplify this using a calculator, I will arrive at 0. And therefore, therefore, we can conclude that x plus 1 is a factor, is a factor of fx. That's it. Okay, so let us try another example and uh, probably want to use a different pen so you can see the difference. So let this be gx, for example. And in part B, okay, what we need to do is to check out or rather find out what is g of minus 1. So hypothetically, if g of minus 1 is equal to 0, then we can say that x plus 1 is a factor of gx. If it's not equal to 0, then it is, then x plus 1 is not a factor of gx. So let's try this out. So, so we have negative 1 to the power of 6 plus 2 times negative 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 4. Okay, punching this into my calculator, I arrive at the value 1, which is not equal to 0. Therefore, 
x plus 1 is not a factor of gx. And that's it. Okay, so I hope this wasn't too tough for you for, for a start. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. I'll see ya.